Now, I'm going to introduce you to what we call polyatomic ions. These are also called molecular ions. They are interesting because they have covalent bonding, but they have, they make ionic bonds. So, ions made through covalent bonding and they make ionic bond. So, that's very interesting. They have two kinds of bonding when you make them in a compound. So, there is six of them which you need to remember. And you need to remember the name, you need to remember the charge and the formula. So I'm going to list them down for you. So first one is hydroxide. This is O, H, minus one. So the it's not H that is minus one. The whole thing is minus one. Okay, so O, H is together. It has covalent bonding between oxygen and hydrogen. But the overall charge is minus one. So when it bonds with something, the whole thing goes. The whole thing goes. Uh, then we have ammonium NH4 plus one. Now remember, this four is part of this thing. So there is one nitrogen, four hydrogen, making covalent bond, but having an overall charge of plus one. Then carbonate, sulfate, sulfite, and phosphate. So there are others as well that you will see, but ye voyage jo aapko pata hone chahiye. So carbonate is CO3 negative 2, sulfate is this, then sulfite and phosphate. So you need to remember the name and the formula and the charge. Okay, so these are molecular ions in your syllabus. So you need to remember this. Now how does this work? Naming is still the same, formula is still the same, you still do ratio flip. Koi in me different baat nahi hai. Siva is ke, ke they will get brackets. So I'm going to give an example. Let's say I have calcium carbonate. So how will I do this? So I'll write calcium ion. Hamesha, you have to know the ions. So Ca plus 2, because group 2. And carbonate is CO3 with negative 2. So ratio flip. The ratio is 1 to 1 because it cancels out. So the formula we'll get is CaCO3. Easy right now let's say we do need to do ratio flip so i have this other example this is barium phosphate so let's show it barium is ba it's in group two so it must be plus two and phosphate i know that is this one i just need to remember it so po4 with negative three so the ratio flip will need to happen right so how do we do that so BA3, because BA3 is and this 2 has to go here. Now here's the thing. PO4, if I will write 2, it will be 42. So that's not right. I don't have 42 of them. I need 2 of phosphate. I need 2 phosphate. So to mention that, I will put brackets. So now I'm saying that I have three barium and two phosphate. Why? Because if I have three barium and one of them has plus two charge, total charge will be three plus three times two plus six. And if I have two phosphate and one has negative three charge, the charge will be two times minus three minus six. So plus six here, minus six here, overall zero. And that's it. So I want you to make these formulas. So iron two hydroxide. That is the one I want you to make. So iron 2 is Fe2 plus. Hydroxide is OH minus 1. I have to write the ions first. And now the ratio flip will happen. So my formula will be Fe OH bracket 2. Because this 2 has to come here. 1 has to go there. Next one. Ammonium iodide. Ammonium is NH4 plus 1. Iodide is I minus 1. How do I know? From the prior table. So the ratio flip is cancelled out. So my formula is going to be NH4I. Ammonium carbonate. Ammonium is NH4 plus. Carbonate is CO3 2 minus. So again, ratio flip has to happen. One goes here. No need to write it. But two goes here. So I'll put brackets here. NH4 brackets 2 CO3. Notice I did not write carbonate in brackets because 
क्वाबिनेट के साथ तो वन ही लिखना है तो उसकी जरूरत नहीं बट अगर यहाँ पे कुछ और होता थ्री टू वट तो फिर मुझे ब्रैकेट्स उसके लिए भी चाहिए होता कॉपर टू सो कॉपर प्लस टू फॉस्फेट पी ओ फोर नेगेटिव थ्री सो रेशो फ्लिप टू गोज है थ्री गोज है सो नाउ सी यू टू सो कॉपर थ्री कॉपर के साथ यहाँ पे थ्री आना चाहिए यहाँ पे टू आना चाहिए थैंक यू सो मच या यू आर राइट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू नेम आइनिक कॉम्पाउंड एंड यू राइट देर फॉर्मूलाज 